Hi. You've all seen me do a video about the Stanley number eight and the Stanley number one, and most of my planes are Stanleys, and I do like them, and they do a good job. But I also have my namesake, a Spears plane from Air Scotland that I love very much because of the rosewood and the steel and the workmanship. And also, it cuts really beautiful shavings as well. But that's really not what I'm here to talk to you about either. Today I'm going to talk to you about my newest one that I got online and I'm really excited about. And you, you've seen the pictures of it in the beginning of the video and I've posted some other pictures of it when it first arrived. This is it after I've cleaned it up and I've sharpened the blade. The, uh, the workmanship on this plane is just exceptional. If you notice this little bevel around here, it only comes up to here and then it goes flat and then it's beveled down here. A nice little treatment as well on the other side. The wood is gorgeous, gorgeous rosewood. And right here you can see a Mr. Lawson, L-A-W-S-O-N, who used to own this plane. And he was proud enough of it to stamp his name on it. The blade and the chip breaker I don't think are really original to it because my other Spears is actually a Steward Spears piece and they're, they're uh, noted by their marks. Also, a difference is this one here you see is brass and, and very ornate in this area here, whereas this one is bronze and it's very simple. Spears. Air, Air Scotland. I suspect this plane is older, but I'm not an authority. There are people in England and, and, and even in the States that love these planes so much and have done a lot of research and they could probably tell you better. My point of this video is really maybe to show off a little because I'm so happy with this plane. But also, to tell you what I did from the point of receiving it to the point of getting it to do a shaving like this. Not too shabby. So the rosewood in here, I want to show you this throat because I think it's absolutely beautiful. The curve of this line coming down and then going down to the throat is really beautifully cut and, and trimmed in. All the wood is extremely tight. I don't think you can even see here the joinery. A lot of times you can see the dovetail there, but I don't see it. Look at the sweep of this. It's an elegant plane. Much more elegant, really, than average Stanley planes. Has a little bit of damage here, but um, nothing to worry about. And the way it cuts is just beautiful. Let's look at the throat. See how tight this is? The opening there for the shaving to go through? Went ahead and had to resharpen it. It was sharpened at the wrong angle, so I had to resharpen it. So I have a secondary bevel back here that uh, I don't necessarily want, but I couldn't avoid, and I didn't want to take off so much and lose the blade. And this came up with plenty to spare.
So, look at the shaving it gives. Now I'm gonna take a break here. Let me set this down and I wanna show you a couple of things I used on it. I did oil the bottom of it after I'd cleaned it up. So when I got the plane, I started with taking the blade out and the gentleman who had sent it to me had put the chip breaker all the way over the blade to help protect it and it did a good job of it. I removed it, I resharpened it, but you can see the old bevel here is totally at the wrong angle. Now I've reground this to 30 and then with a micro bevel on the edge, but there was no rust on it. Somebody had cleaned it up pretty well. I do notice here that over the years, somebody had hit it, most likely with a metal hammer to adjust their blade depth. And um, this is an Ibbotson blade. So probably the original Stuart Spears blade was destroyed in a similar way. This is a Howarth or Howarth solid steel chip breaker. I use an animal hide hammer. I know a lot of people like to buy these hammers or make their own hammers that are uh, brass or bronze, softer metals to do this work, but I prefer uh, not incurring any damage and I find that this rawhide mallet works very well for that. On the uh, bronze here, if you remember the pictures earlier, I'll bring this back up so you can see it. On the bronze, I used a simple polish, which I've used on cars and things like that, a fine polishing cream for all metals. I'm assuming it's Maas, M-A-A-S. But it works great on stainless steel, on bronze, on brass, all mo mostly all metals. And you just take a tiny little bit, and I, I will apply it with just a little rag. And um, it'll put a little bit of a film on it, which will haze over. And then I just take a secondary rag and give it a little polishing and a little buffing. And you can see how beautiful it comes out. So that's what I used on the bronze part. On the rosewood... I didn't do much. All I did was apply a finish wax. Alfie Shine, the hard wax polish. It worked great. I'm proud to be the second or even the third owner. It's such a gorgeous piece of art as well as a tool. The uh, hand grip is too small for my fingers, so I keep one out, sometimes two. And I, I really like some of the English planes where they extend a little bit of metal here uh, because when you're coming down, it's kind of nice to hold it there. I don't really like holding it up here. I, don't, I find that uncomfortable. But I, there's enough of a lip in here that I can put my finger, because I like to ride one finger against the wood and the thumb on the top. Um, so when I'm planing, it keeps it in a straight line. I took the blade out again, so it's not cutting. But even here, this is very uncomfortable to me. So I wind up keeping a finger like a fence and then pushing through. As you can see, I do use an oiler like Paul Sellers uh, prescribes. I've learned that lesson. So. Let me just leave you with this. You know I love my Stanley planes and the ones that I have. These English planes are exceptional. The weight is magnificent. It just clings to the wood like a Jaguar clings to the road. And it does a beautiful job of cutting. So does the Stanleys. But when you're working with something like this, it gives you an appreciation for the people that developed it, made it, and used it and I can't think of anything or any plane that rivals it.